to mówić. So we, we move on to the finale round, and the first thing we have to do is look over our unresolved complications and find out what happens with them. And to do that, we'll, we'll starting with me, I don't have any, uh, we'll read off the complication we created and then roll to try to fix it. All right? Can we still use our expertise? Points? Yes, definitely. Can we use our advantages to try and yes. communicate them? Yeah, it's a regular roll. You're just rolling um, uh, to, to resolve that. And you can actually roll any skill as well, as long as you can justify it. So we begin with you and Brenner. OK, well, um, I had a, a jewelry patron, patron that was angry with me for selling something that uh, she originally commissioned to somebody else. And um, I mean, this had already been a spat previously. Oh boy. Because um, we disagreed about the price, and I just said, well, I'm just not going to sell it. So this kind of brought stuff back up. But um, turns out the brewer we hired is actually related to her. It's her nephew. <laughs> so um, <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to hope that, that kind of smooths things over a bit, and this doesn't do too much to harm my reputation. So are you like approaching her? Did she like happen to happen into the pub or what? Yeah, she she comes into the pub and um to to speak with me and then sees that her nephew is is working um yeah. for us that he's happy with his. He finally position. got a job. Yeah. Um. And so uh, I'm 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 gonna offer to do a new commission for her. Ooh, wow. for a, so generous for a pre-range rate that she's agreed to. So um, and hopefully she's a uh, she's pleased with with this uh, offer. Okay. So we make a craft roll. Um. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Ooh, nice. Kaboom. All right. So you just you just had a fit of inspiration and made this awesome ring and you smooth things over. Yes. Our Yelp reviews are gonna stay okay. Yeah, I I, I pulled out one of the good ones dwelp. and offered it. Twelve Twelp reviews. Sidrail, <laughs> <laughs> Dwelp. We're doing great. Alright. Alright, young Graham. So can the advantage be used to resolve the complication? Yeah. The advantage is just a free roll and we're making a roll, so yeah. Okay. So the so gimmick the of the band was really chafing for um, Udo. Udo. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, it wasn't really what he signed up for. You know, the band was doing very well, but just the cheesiness of it, you know, wasn't really, you know, sitting well with him. So that threatened the future of the band, but the advantage in the getting that bandmate was it was it was it was based in the in the music from the beginning. It's about the music, man. So the gimmick was overcome, you know, since it wasn't you know despite that gimmick being successful in bringing the people in, it was more about being a band mm. ultimately. We had, we had stuff in the bank, man. We went yeah. back far enough. So the band ditched its gimmick, but mm. stayed, you know, loyal to maintaining their collaboration. Mm. So they were able to resolve that. Do we ever acquire new members? Are we just are we just a um, flute ca cowbell? Duo? I think <laughs> I think that was the next the next step mm. was. Uh, <laughs> building out from the, uh, the cowbell and flute. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go upwards from there. So, yeah, we, we ditched the, the glittery uniforms, and then we expanded our sonic palette, and, uh, you know, cemented our reputation uh, as the, the house band. Mm. You know, we moved on from the two nights a week. <laughs> Maybe we can take it on the road. Did you ever name your band? Oh, we never named the band. Um, maybe we could name it after the bad tattoo. Maybe it's bad tattoo. Bad tattoo. Yeah. I'm You're going to need to get one, though, Udo. A matching? Yeah. Bad tattoo. Well, not a matching, but like kind of like a complimentary one, mm, Okay. Right? All right. Like a separate one. Maybe I'll work that into my, my, my epilogue here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
So my complication was this uh, injury from hanging this spiky oh, yeah. sign, and as we were hanging it, I kind of like cut my bicep a little bit. Mm. And at the time, I thought it was okay, and since then, I've been getting some some muscle weakness oh, no. there. So what I've done to try to compensate for that was I, I tried to use my, my craft here and try to build a kind of primitive sort of splint, kind okay. of like a wooden mechanical arm, right? right. Sort of like a... Like yeah. a <laughs> Without being mechanical, but still being the support that I need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm on a straight roll with this. Or can I invoke a trait? Yeah, definitely. You can one. Why not? It is my Why quote. Not? It is my quote, right? Everybody around me said you really should get that looked at. <laughs> you really you shouldn't just strap that. a piece of wood to your arm. <laughs> and my response was, Why not? I really hope it works out. Oh. And it does. <laughs> Alright, so you, you don't get gangrene, your arm does not fall no, off. No, no, okay. no. Alright, excellent. So we've uh, resolved our complications. We didn't fail any rounds. The dice were on our side tonight. And so we have no failures to uh, decide upon. And now we just close the story with a narration. Uh, and I'll start by describing the fate of Udo. Um, at, so uh, about... Two years from where we, we end up here with Faf's arm uh, rejuvenating, um, Bad Tattoo has not only toured all the various neighborhoods of the homes, we even went above ground and we did some spots in like the different villages of men around. Um, there was, I mean, there was a, there was a, it was a lot of road uh, lifestyle stuff. And um, after about two years of that, broke, down on his luck, uh, stinky, um, <laughs> possibly with, you know, some unresolved uh, bodily injuries, uh, Udo drags himself back to the homes, back to um, the Glowworm Tavern, and asks, I just want my old job back. <laughs> and that's his story. What happens to Brenner? Besides every night having sausage and waffles, and orange <laughs> juice. Uh, well, Printer is actually uh, enjoying running an establishment with some some friends. He's he's typically used to working on his own and having to go get his own clients and do all of his own negotiation. But um, the tavern actually is like attracts a lot of people who are interested in in his jewelry, anyways. And it's a good place for a uh, so they entertain patrons and stuff. So there's kind of a synergy that happens mm. and. Um, and uh, like, like his money comes in, like he just keeps making ridiculous adornments, like all over the tavern. Like people come to see it. <laughs> <laughs> so it becomes almost like an art gallery for him. Yeah, he's just, yeah, he he's just kind of seeing how big it'll go. All right. <laughs> awesome. Um. So after bad tattoos, touring days. Winded down. Um, Graham shifted his focus back to the uh, booking, talent buying aspect of his old gig and started getting into uh, uh, A&R a bit. Mm -hmm. Sort of in his later days, uh, grooming the next batch of young dwarf Dwarf and good tat good tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> the new the new talent. Trying to trying to keep the, the music fresh in the in the homes. There you go. So Faf has also enjoyed co running the Glowworm Glowworm Tavern and we've got that fully functional hammock room in the back. Yes. And Faf is actually a uh, world-renowned instructor of aerobic napping. Really? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. It, it turns out you can really burn some calories and stay in good shape with proper, <laughs> proper napping technique. So, you know, he teaches like about a daily class of that. Okay. It's like spinning for lazy people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Well, we did it, guys. We, we succeeded in opening this pub and telling a pretty good story in the process. Thanks for playing. Thanks for hosting. And cut.